Okay, so yesterday when I was putting together the render channel compositing video, I realized when I was putting in the depth map that there is a much better way to use the alpha map that's highly accurate. Um, so I'm just going to show you the way I used to use alpha maps and the way I'm going to be using them going forward. So this is my sky alpha and I will duplicate it into my color map. And um, Usually what I would do at this point is use the select color range and then select kind of like all the uh, black points and I'll probably turn my fuzziness up here and go OK. And if we zoom in, we see that it gets like most of the black, but there's quite a bit of gray that's not captured. And it's really difficult to capture this um, gradient of colors using the select color, unless you kind of go in and color pick the all of the gradients. Um, so you can also like kind of do the opposite approach and select all of the white points. So um, if I kind of color pick around and select all the white points like that, then it captures more of the uh, of the snow, but there's still like edges around here where it's not getting the um, sky alpha. So let's just say that this is is the approach I was using, and I was going to try to cut out the sky from my color map. Um, so what I would do is save this as a selection and call this the sky, and uh, then in my background I would. Uh, put a layer mask on and go select load selection, load the sky. And then I would just like delete it from my uh, color map. So then I would be left with uh, essentially a transparent sky background that I can put in a different sky behind. And I'm just going to throw on um, a black um, background here just so you can see kind of like what is left over. So that's, that's all right, that works fine, but it's, it doesn't capture all of the snow. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna duplicate this layer and then delete the layer mask. And um, I'm gonna put a, a blank layer mask on this channel and I'm going to turn on the alpha and just go control A, which, control, which selects everything in the image. And then I'll use cut, so control X. And then I'm going to um, press alt click on this layer mask. So it's alt click and then paste the alpha in. So control V, uh, deselect it and then invert it. So control I like that so that the black is now white. And then when you take it off, it applies that as an alpha mask to the layer mask itself. And if you zoom in, it's much more accurate than um, using the color selection and you get all of the gradients of the snow no matter how transparent or loose they are. So I'm just going to do a quick comparison between the um, the color pick method versus the uh, copy pasting into the layer mask method. So this is the layer mask. This is the color pick. You can see especially on these like really loose um, blurry snowflakes that the copying the alpha channel into the layer mask is highly accurate. Whereas uh, in this one, you lose out all of that fuzziness. So you're not actually capturing um, all of the detail that's in the alpha channel.